this is super cool. Um, I don't think I have anything to say. There are tiny things changing wise. I mean, this is all cool. They still add ever so slight weird wobbly effect on the ball squash and stretch where I would wait. This already seems to be too soon. I will keep it last one. I know this is just like one frame more, but there's something and I don't know what you if there's some other keys and just something that seems a bit wobbly or as if that stretch is going like along the path. I mean it has to point towards the impact. Something where even actually through here it seems like it's not pointing enough. Points here though, and that's correct. So I don't know. It's not something I would immediately <coughs> jump on something that I don't know there's something that feels like we have still too much squash and stretch you do a pass where you're just really limited to that I guess the very last frame because you don't really have that much more but it seems like it's already doing it actually through here just feels too early being extremely picky because it looks awesome these are great I really 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 like your anticipation going in moving forward here and then jumping and landing in different places. It makes such a huge difference. I so love it. The thing that I would do is, and this is a, a subjective, I don't know. I don't know what you think about it. But when the ball hits the big guy, I would not do a squash. Because to me, it, it gives it a really nice, solid feel. And this feels almost too light. And there are a couple of things with it. A is, to me, it seems like I would push, and you can argue that it might even push a bit higher. And that the ball going forward is more of a roll since we see the line it kind of rolls more forward than like a full translate push because if it's pushing that means not that it, it's airborne but it, this guy's really powerful and then if that's the case it almost feels like visually that the ball comes to a stop too quickly the heavy one but to me it's almost like you what if you try just a bit higher and then it's more of a roll you know, a bit more of an easy easy settle into that first one. Again, I'm being extremely critical. That's all cool. This, again, being super picky, watch out. There's a slight feel that he's rotating too fast compared to the translate. And again, this is extremely picky. Just slight feel to it. The rest is all cool. I'm looking at the big guy. Here, I would say, boom, that is almost too high. You're going too high, but then the hang time is not enough. So it feels like you're going too high and then it sh really shoots down. And so to me, I would probably cut that in half and then cut this guy in half. It'll give it a bit more weight. The exit is cool. And then the little guy jumping around stops there. That's great, comes back, jumps in different places. What I would do here is he jumps off, right? The moment this guy lets go, this is strangely sticking. So at this point, this would start to move, to be centered. I mean, you might argue this visually looks like this is even longer. So there would be more weight on this side. So it would really go down here so that you could technically, the ball could land while this is already like, you know, whatever it is, like maybe like this and you hit he hits this when, or she hits this when it's around here pew, to really give that pew. Let's see what that, how that feels. And right now the exit, to be super picky, which seems to be the through line here. That's okay. The next frame, to be honest, I will do it here. And actually this is such an extreme that to me, the stretch would be huge here and a tiny bit less. That's your initial, pew, I'm exiting, holy moly. And after that, you're going to lose momentum and speed. So keep this here. I would, you could easily make this twice, the stretch. And then here I will go, I will go here. Keep the stretch you have closer to the end frame and a bit higher. 
Because right now you have it here and then here and then here, right? So it would be here. The one is around here. There's something about that initial thing. And then A, it seems like the spacing is suddenly much smaller. But it's also from here to here, you would then almost imagine that it would be here. So then when that exits from here to here, it's, it feels like a pop exiting out. And sometimes, you know, you want that pop for the jumpiness and everything. But there's something where I feel like you want to do, so imagine it would be lower. That's fine. The next one would be here. Let's see how that goes. Super, super picky. You might be shaking your head, but it's already so cool that I'm giving you an extra level of pickiness. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.